What's up guys? Hey, this is Christian Bruno. Just wanted to thank you for what taking the time to watch this video here today. And before we start off this video on dental commissions, I just wanted to take a minute and talk with you about my six figure Medicare university. If you haven't taken the time already to check out my 120 plus video course on everything that it takes to be successful as a Medicare agent that has helped me build a six figure Medicare business from the age of 20 to turn in 28 years old this coming summer. I highly encourage you to take a look at it. We go over a little bit about Facebook advertising, brand building, social media, um, YouTube videos, video editing, um, photo creation. Um, we go over technologies, email technologies, uh, MailChimp, integration, CRM, um, scripts, cold calling, company information, whatever it is that you possibly feel like you could use help with in your business we're going to solve it. It's a one-time fee of $495, but if you're in my group, Six Figure Medicare Agent, you get $100 off. It's $395 lifetime access, and we're always adding new exclusive videos to the equation just for people like you. You never have to pay for it again. It's lifetime access. All of the information will be linked down below in the description. Don't forget to miss that, and I hope you enjoy this video. What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Six Figure Medicare Agent. Hope this video finds you doing well. And I just know that you've been dying to know how dental plans pay commissions. Now, typically, there's a couple different types of dental plans you're going to see. You have dental vision and hearing plans like your Manhattan Life, So the World, Medicos, Aetna's, Aetna Seniors, Continental Life, really, not really Aetna Senior. And then you have your individual dental plans that have the option to add things like dental riders or vision riders, excuse me, like your Emeritas plans, Mutual of Omaha, plans like that. Today, we're going to talk about how you get paid commission on these types of policies. Okay, guys. So and when it comes to dental plans, typically, um, there's two different types of agents when it comes to dental plans in the Medicare market. You have agents that take a look at dental plans and say, okay, I can sell them with other types of plans. I can sell them with a Medicare supplement. I can sell them with a Medicare Advantage plan. I can sell them with a short-term medical plan, whatever it is that you're selling. And then there's the types of agents that think that the dental plans don't pay any commission. They're not worth the time of day, blah, 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 blah. You should be selling dental plans. And here's why. The first type of agent is going to be the first um, approach that you're going to want to adopt. Dental plans, you're not going to make a whole bunch of money selling dental plans on its own. So, you know, you don't want to buy leads just to sell dental. You don't want to go prospecting just for dental. But if you can sell dental plans along with other products that you're already selling, it's a fantastic way to make extra income just typically because seniors want dental coverage. I mean, let's face it, in, in a lot of areas in the country, Medicare supplements, of course, don't come with any dental coverage, so they, they don't have that at all if they're going the route of Medicare supplement. But if they have a Medicare Advantage plan, a lot of areas don't cover much dental. It's usually limited, if nothing else. So a dental plan is pretty um, attractive to them. So this is basically what we're looking at with a dental plan. Depending on the company and depending on the state you're in, because it's going to vary a little bit from place to place with some companies, and some companies pay out more commissions than others. But with a lot of dental plans, the most common dental plans from what I've found is you're probably looking at anywhere between a 30 to 40% commission mark. So what that means is if you sell a dental plan or a dental vision hearing plan that costs 30 bucks a month. And let's say you're making, we'll just say, you know, you're making 40%, right? That would mean that you'd make $12 a month as far as commissions, unless you're set up for advance. I'm, I'm like, as you may, might know from watching my videos, I don't set myself up for advance on anything that I don't have to. I just don't feel the need. I'd like to see the money come in every month. I just like that. Um, that's just how I prefer to do things. So basically, guys, you have your 30 to 40% the first year. Now, it's true that dental plans do not pay a whole lot of commission in year two and going forward, but they still pay a little bit. You know, I have so many policies that are after year one that still pay out a dollar a month, two dollars a month, three dollars a month, something like that, because it pays after year one with most dental companies, but it drops down dramatically. You're probably going to be looking at anywhere between 2% to 5%, depending on the company, depending on um, your contract or anything that like your state or anything like that. 
Um, the purpose of dental plans is not to sell them individually, although, you know, I think selling a dental plan, of course, is better than selling nothing. Like, let's look at that other scenario, for example. Let's say you're making 40% and the policy's $30 a month. Well, if you're making $12 a month, over that first year, you're going to make $144. And if you're combining that with a Medicare Advantage Commission, a Medicare Supplement Commission, that's not too bad. I mean, if you're selling a Medicare Advantage plan and they're new to Medicare and you're in street-level commission, you're going to make $510. If you can add another $100 to $150 in addition to that, it's not too bad. And the clients typically want them, guys. What I've found over the years is if you do not sell these type of plans, whether it be dental, whether it be cancer, whether it be hospital indemnity, if you don't sell these pro kind of products to your clients, they're going to go buy them somewhere else because they do want them. There is a need for them and they might buy them with another agent and that agent might just need that little policy to get their foot in the door and be possibly roll you out. Okay, So it's not just to make extra commission, although the extra commission is nice. It's better to make more money per house but it's also for client retention. Typically, the clients that you're going to retain, you're going to keep them more times than not, opposed to clients that, you know, you might only have one policy in the house. There's just not a whole lot of connection there for you. It's easier for them to sever ties with you as the agent. So you make typically quite a bit, pretty good commission, actually, the first year. Now, if you have product, if you can meet production requirements and things like that, sometimes you can get into the 50s, you know, with some of these companies. So it just kind of depends on, your, what your production is able to um, command, as far as a contract is concerned, it depends on the company. It depends on a lot of different variables, but you're probably looking at typically, depending on the insurance company, anywhere between 30 to 40% commission most times. And then you're probably looking at 2 to 5% every year after that. Um, some of my favorite dental companies to sell, guys, is, you know, we like selling Manhattan Life's Dental Vision Hearing product. Um, we did a complete webinar with Scotty O'Brien on that. Um, not just the dental product, but it was what it was touched on. Um, we sell Aetna's Dental Vision Hearing product. We sell um, Mutual of Omaha's individual dental plan. We sell Ameritas individual dental plan. Um, and we and you know we just like selling dental plans. We used to sell a lot of Medico, not anymore. Um, their product just isn't that competitive anymore. Um, in my personal opinion. And so basically, guys, you know, selling dental is a great thing to do. This is kind of the commissions you can be expecting, and um, hope this video answered some questions for you. If it did, let us know by dropping a like on the video, subscribe for future videos, and if you did not maybe get your questions answered, drop a comment down in the comment section so we can touch on them. Until next time, take care.